Hello friends. I know you're going to be shocked. It's just a couple days since I made a video instead of weeks and months. But at the urging of one of my subscribers, Wayne, thank you, I uh, showcase another rifle that uh, isn't exactly what some people in my area would call tactical. This, uh, for some of you who are unfamiliar, this is a Winchester model 1876 or the Centennial and this is made by Uberti. This is a modern reproduction. Uh, <clears throat> at the risk of sounding like uh, Charles Dickens, this is a tale of two rifles or in some cases one might say a tale of two countries. This rifle being introduced early in Canada right at the formation of the Northwest Mounted Police, which are now known as the our Royal Canadian Mounted Police, or known locally the RCMP. Showcased here are two uh, loaded cartridges for the 5095, which is Winchester, which this rifle is chambered. A spent case in the middle, a uh, 540 grain hollow point and a 545 grain soft point on the right and a 223 Remington for comparison size on the right. These cartridge, these cartridge cases can be formed from uh, a 50 uh, caliber basic, Bell basic or 5090 sharps <clears throat> which in itself can be difficult to find. I uh, I load this rifle with uh, Trail Boss. I keep the loads fairly light. I don't really have any illusions about uh, going on any big game hunts. It's uh, it's a beautiful rifle, as are most Uberties. It's lovely case colors. They do a wonderful job. Rifle's got the lever lock as well, and quite nice wood that the camera really doesn't do it much justice. Nor does my, uh, nor does my uh, camera work. It's a, uh, it's a reasonably accurate rifle for what it is. These rifles were uh, brought into Canada in 1876 for the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And they were chambered in a caliber 4575 WCF, something that's very uncommon nowadays. And in Canada, there were three chamberings. Uh, there may have been more uh, in, in the United States of America, but just in Canada, there were only three available 4065 WCF, 4575 WCF, which I mentioned, and 5095 and an original rifle in 5095 they're extremely uncommon but in Canada the most popular ones are the 4575 which were issued to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police these I'm going to take a moment and turn it around try not to drop it It has the uh, glossy lift gate, or gl glossy loading gate rather, and if I can stay in focus, it has a rather glossy action trap here. It's, uh, it's a beautiful rifle. It's, uh, most of the rifles I get, uh, I look for, have to appeal to me on a certain, certain level. I probably can't see it in the camera. There's a little platinum stud at the end of the sight. Visibility. And there's the business end. It takes a, uh, a 512 diameter bullet, so 51 caliber. I cast my own bullets. I have two molds, one for the hollow point and one for the 
around those. I uh, I drill the hollow point myself. The mold doesn't have a fancy nib for the hollow point. At any rate, just a, a brief introduction. If you uh, if you can think of anything you want to ask, please do so in the comments. And I'll try to uh, film videos more often. I'm going to get some help doing them because I'm having a really hard time remembering things that have to do with these rifles. Uh, something that's uh, becoming more and more problematic for me as time goes on. At any rate, um, nothing to be alarmed about at this time. But um, for Wayne's sake, and hopefully for the sake of everyone else watching, it's, uh, it's quite a beautiful rifle. If you get a chance to grab one of these at auction, uh, uh, or at a gun store, I, I'd be inclined to grab it. Uh, they're beautiful. Thanks so much for watching.